Okay, let's take a look at today's weekly market report, September 28th, 2021. Available Hoboken 202, Jersey City 190. Under contract in the last 30 days, 76 in Hoboken, 60 in Jersey City. So you're sitting there about three months of inventory, plus or minus, in both markets. That's a fairly strong seller's market. In Hoboken, you have about 90 homes that have been on the market for more than 30 days, and in Jersey City, about the same, just about 90 homes. So there are some homes that are starting to get a little bit shop worn out there. Or maybe they're been on the market for a while. Maybe they're new construction. Maybe their pricing has been a little bit aggressive. Maybe they don't show particularly well. Maybe, 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 right? The location, there's a lot of other choices. There are only three things that a home comes down to. Price condition, location. That's it. Those three things. Price, condition, location. If the home's not selling in 30 days and for Hoboken, say the average days on market of those under contract is 32, the median days is 17, or Jersey City where the average is 49 that the median is 31. If you haven't sold in the first 30 days, price, condition, location. Now, when you're selling, you can only change two of those things. You can't make the home move unless you have a mobile home, and I don't see too many of those. So let's take that one off the table. Price, condition. What is the easiest one to do? Yeah, you could put a new kitchen or a new bath or a new floor in your home. What is that going to take? How many weeks? How many months? How much money? How much aggravation? So that's the market there. The solds in the last 30 days, uh, 69 in Hoboken, 45 in Jersey City. Average uh, list to sale price, 98.8% Hoboken, 98.4% Jersey City. No surprise on that. But this is the OMG report. I promised you the OMG report. And here's where it is at. Look, you have a confluence of factors right now. You have things happening with the Fed and tapering, which is leading a lot of analysts to say, hey, guess what? Expect the interest rates to start rising shortly. So, okay, and he even talked about it on my Mortgage Monday show with uh, Joe Berg from Pinnacle Mortgage. Rates are already, you're not gonna see too many, you know, twos are gone now. You're at three, rates are rising. Still good rates, but rates are rising. You know, you got a buyer's problem here where you know it's gonna cost you more for your home if you don't get in. The longer you wait, the higher the rate. And secondly, it's OMG from the holiday season, which I talked about in the earlier segment. You have a compressed window here before we hit the holiday season. So now sellers want to sell and buyers want to buy. Buyers want to get those interest rates while they can and sellers want to sell while they can. That is making a bit of an equilibrium, right? Who's going to blink first? You know, some people are going to sell because they have good homes that have good location, good condition at a reasonable price and buyers are buying those as you can see. Or you're going to wait as a seller and you're going to find yourself Hey, and now I'm 30 plus days on the market. But guess what? If we're sitting from today, 30 plus days on the market, in another 30 days from now, you're at the end of the season. You know, there's very little that can be done for you at that point other than hope that the right buyer comes through or again, condition price reduction. Or you wait and you wait and you wait and you wait. But as the interest rates go up, all your value goes away anyway. So OMG, these are the weekly market numbers. September 28th, 2021.